Aha! If you want to take dope underwater photos like these, then here are my top five tips on how you can immediately boost your underwater photo game. Now, in all seriousness, my name is Tom Park and I am a professional underwater photographer, so without wasting any more time. Tip number one is white balance. Now guys, if you are shooting anything underwater, you need to be manually adjusting your white balance. On the surface, auto works a treat, but underwater, every meter you drop, you lose less and less light, and the first light you lose is red. So you need to manually put that red back in. Now this is super easy. Grab your camera and there will be a button that says white balance. Hit the button, press up, and then all you have to do is take a photo of something white, whether that be sand, yeah, your dive buddy's tank, something that's remotely gray or white, boom, your white balance has just been changed. Wave goodbye to 50 shades of green. All right, tip number two is lighting. Now for exactly the same reason, every meter we drop, we lose light. We need to add that light back. So the easiest way to do that is with lights. For photo, you already saw, I use two strobes. For video, same deal, two video lights. Now what this allows us to do is it allows us to bring up the shadows in the subject that we're shooting and bring down the highlights of the light blue water behind us. This both adds back a color and allows us to compose that photo perfectly. Now this is super important underwater. Don't go spending all your money on a camera, make sure to budget for some lights as well. Tip number three is get in close to your subject. So many times I see people taking photos from one or two meters away. Now guys, that looks good, but it does not look anywhere near as good as 20 to 30 centimeters away. Get that nice interesting perspective that the person two meters behind you doesn't get and that will really set your photos apart. Tip number four, is make sure you're shooting at eye level or below eye level facing up for your subject. For the same reason, this brings out that really interesting perspective that no one else captures. Stop shooting the animal top down, get in an eye level and bring out that personal character to whatever it is that you're shooting. Tip number five, now this is less about how you actually take the photo and more about how you approach the photo. Now if you see a turtle or a shark or something that you wanna shoot, collect yourself, deep slow breaths, calm yourself down and approach that animal slowly and with care. If you approach that animal super quick, it's just gonna run away. If the animal's comfortable having you in the water next to it, it's gonna let you get up real close to get that eye level shot you're looking for. Those are my five tips on how you can improve your underwater photography. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm gonna try and do way more of these to share what I know about underwater photography with you guys. If there's something you wanna learn, maybe it's what camera do I buy? How do I edit a dope video? Or how do I edit a raw photo? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna know and I will try my best to share what I know to help you. All right, until next time.